AutoZone looking for some buffer pads, and that was a bust. We didn't find anything. All we keep finding is these stupid little, uh, like the little polisher pads, like this one here. And we can't find them here at uh, Walmart either. So today I'm actually going to be trying to, like, I don't know if you know this, but my bumper looks very, very faded. Like, I'm sure if you know my car, you can definitely tell. I'll put some pictures up on the screen of it. But uh, my bumper is very faded. It's just doesn't look good at all anymore. It's very rough and, like, almost looks pinkish. Like, look how pink it looks already. But uh, today I'm going to try to, I'm going to clay bar it first. Like, clean it, clay bar it. So I'm going to uh, do some rubbing compound on it and then polish it and see if I can get it to look any better. I don't know, it might be too far gone and since it is the plastic it might not turn out so well, but we'll see how it goes. First I'm just going to clean it up real quick. I just washed my car like yesterday I think, so it shouldn't be too bad. So I'm just going to use some like quick detailer on it. Uh, it helps when the uh, nozzle is turned on. But yeah, I'm just going to use some quick detailer on it and just clean up the bumper a little bit before we start to clay bar it. All right, I just finished clay barring this half of the whole bumper. This half is still uh, not too far, but honestly, it's not really making too much of a difference. It's my, I think my bumper is just a little bit too far gone. Like you can see all the little stuff in it still. That's like, that's a paint chip. Um, some of the little white is a little bit of oxidation, so I'm hoping I can get rid of that a little bit at least by bumping it, but yeah. There's not too much of a difference between the two sides. I'm gonna go ahead and continue and uh, clay bar this side as well. But yeah, like or, as the further you get over here, the worse this stuff gets. It's all over. Pretty bad. I've always heard to uh, go back and forth rather than going in circles. I'm not too sure why. If you know why, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'm not too sure why, but I just heard that you're supposed to go back and forth. This is what we picked up from Walmart. It's just a buffing bonnet. It's uh, just like this little microfiber little pad thing. And then we're going to use this, and then I have some rubbing compound, some polishing compound, and this is just some like regular scratch remover. So I buffed this whole section here. I went to about right around here and I stopped about this line right here. So I mean, it did make it look a little bit better. I mean, you can still see all this little stuff. That's actually uh, just paint chips. But it did clear up a lot of the uh, oxidation, I guess you could say. Like see how like the little white stuff that's in here? It's kind of out on this. It kind of brought the color back a little bit. I think I need to do it a little bit more. But, uh, yeah. I started out using this rubbing compound, but I actually switched to just some polishing compound. I don't think I really need the rubbing compound for just the plastic bumper. The bumper looks a lot better, but if you just like, like down here is just still so bad. Maybe I'll go over it a couple more times. But the top, it looks a lot better. This looks way more red than it did before. It used to look almost like a pink color and it was really bad. But now it looks pretty good. The only problem now is uh, this looks pink compared to the red now. Right now we're taking off the clear bra. It's probably been on here since the car was brand new back in 2006. And it's being a bitch. 
don't know if you can tell, but like you can see all the glue in there. We already took this one off. Like I took this one off a long time ago. That one came out good. And I just now took this one off. And it didn't leave barely any glue. This one's just gonna be a bitch. We're getting quite a bit of it off. Um, I start on this side, get this much off. He's already gotten all this off. So it's coming off okay. It's, it just rips a lot. So like you pull on it for a little bit and it'll just rip. What he's gonna go do is grab a uh, blow dryer and we're just gonna heat this whole thing up again. Cause it was sitting out in the heat so this piece was super easy to come off. So I'm hoping if we heat it up, that all this will be a little bit easier. After we get all this off, it's gonna be fun to get all this glue off. <laughs> so we got all this to go, but I pretty much have this one good. There's still some little spots that you can see in there, but this one's almost good. What I ended up having to do is actually just taking like a microfiber and just getting it off kind of just going back and forth on it, just getting it off. Uh, you do kind of risk scratching your paint with a microfiber doing that, but I think it, I don't think it scratched it. All right, I just now finished this. I don't know if you can tell, but it's been a while. It took me forever to do this, but I finally got it all off. There's a couple spots here and there that I'm gonna go touch up again. And then I'm gonna buff the uh, whole hood and hopefully it'll come out looking a little bit nicer. I just gotta clean it up again because it's all dusty again now. I hope these little chip areas don't peel anymore because I do have a lot of rock chips. We're also going to do some uh, hood spacers, see what that looks like. Oh, <laughs> shit! That's too much. <laughs> no, dude. That's, <laughs> That's too much. Holy fucking race car. I don't want it to do four. <laughs> That's too much. Dude, that's sick as fuck. I'm thinking two? Yeah. Or maybe you just one? By the way, if you don't really know the point in the uh, hood spacer thing, it's so that when you're going, air can escape through here. And it makes your engine bay a lot cooler. It's supposed to, anyways. I don't know if it actually works. I assume it does, though. By the way, if you don't really know the point in the uh, hood spacer thing, it's so that when you're going, air can escape through here and it makes your engine bay a lot cooler. It's supposed to anyways. I don't know if that actually works. I assume it does though. I just got off of work and I was editing the video and realized I didn't even film an outro. I know you probably actually can't literally see anything right now. Um, let me pull out my phone camera here. We were getting a warning on some hail, so I put my car in a, uh, I put a car cover on my car, hoping that that would help a little bit. I don't know if that actually does help, but, I mean, I figured it would. Alright, let's see if I can flash it. Oh, okay, here we go. So, yeah, see, I put a car cover over the, over the 350. 
but uh yeah thanks for watching today's video guys i know it's kind of just whatever just kind of hanging out doing all kinds of stuff i'm trying to get better at videoing i really am i really apologize about the wind it's probably really bad out here we get low so the truck blocks it a little bit and it's not blocking it at all all right anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned for the next one and by the way my buddy got some new wheels on his on the 60 that i did a video on with he got some new wheels so expect a video of these somewhat soon see you guys later